Oh, hello, friends. My name is Benedict Cumberbatch, and welcome to Fan Gear. What I'm going to talk about today is the recent redesign of the character Lobo from DC Comics. Now, for those of you who don't know, Lobo is a vest-wearing, chain-smoking biker who has super strength and a healing factor that allows him to literally walk off being ripped in half. Basically, the way it went down was they posted f a concept art of the character and immediately widespread fan outrage. The internet exploded. DC's been on a bad streak recently of horribly fouling up their characters, and although that's understandable, I mean, they do that a lot, it hits especially hard when it comes to Lobo. Lobo was originally created as a parody character, designed to lampoon the more macho, in-your-face, bad boy characters of the day, like Batman at the time, or Superman on occasion. But now what they're trying to do is something completely different. The creator, in response to these tweets and massive fan outrage, contacted the writer and the writer's response was something along the lines of they wanted to take a more serious edge to the character. They wanted to make it so that he wasn't as much of a parody. They wanted him to not be walking away from explosions smoking a cigar. Now, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the concept of comedy, but generally speaking, when somebody makes a satire of a character, it's not correct to take that satire and then make it into a serious character. You'd think that somebody at DC would have realized this and gone, Hold the phone. This is not right. We're gonna need to... No, you need to redo something in here. But no, unfortunately, there wasn't anything like that. A good redesign balances several traits of a character and doesn't completely destroy the entire concept of a character. For some reference, this is the original Lobo. And this is the redesign. They've literally turned him into a Twilight Vampire. When you redesign a character, you shouldn't bastardize the design. A character should still be them, just wearing different clothes. A good character redesign retains the same personality and original intent behind a character, while giving it something new, something that allows people from a newer generation to connect with the character better. I'm pretty sure there's no marketing going out to Meyer Pyres. In essence, what they've done is they've made a completely new character. A serious, anger-driven Lobo who doesn't take anything from anyone and has no fun in his life at all, ever, isn't Lobo. They just so happen to share the same name. The DC Universe has recently seen a lot of upheavals like this. They got rid of Wally West, who was arguably the best Flash, they made Starfire's costume even worse, and, on top of it all, they made Alan Scott gay. Now, I'm not saying that's bad to be gay, but Alan Scott already had a gay son named Obsidian, they went through a deep and emotional character storyline coming down to Obsidian coming to terms with his own homosexuality and coming to terms with his father's accepting of his homosexuality and his father, Alan Scott, coming to terms with his son's homosexuality and saying, it's okay, son, I love you anyway. Which is, of course, now all thrown out the window because he doesn't exist anymore. Back on point. Without Lobo's sensitivity to the comedic side of what it is to be a superhero, it looks like there's going to be another downswing in DC. They're making everybody into an angst-driven crazy man, including Lobo, which doesn't work. Without the humor in comics, it's hard to stay grounded. It's hard to remain in touch with the characters. We're gonna miss you, Lobo. DC, you need to stop turning our favorite characters into horrible, horrible pastiches of what they used to be. Please stop turning everybody into Batman. It's getting really annoying. I know that's the only way you can make money, but I've had enough. And stop alienating your writers. What do you think about Lobo's recent redesign? Post a comment in the comment section, and please like, rate, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'm Engelbert Humperdinck, signing off.